This is lesson seven in my series on how to fly an FPV quadcopter, multi-rotor in rate mode. And in this lesson, we're going to take our landing lessons and expand on them a little bit by doing a little bit more aggressive approaches. Uh, in the last lesson, we started out relatively low to the ground and we did a slow approach, a long, slow approach, slowly descending until we touched down. Uh, in reality, you may not always have a nice long landing strip to approach uh, from, or you may need to stop short or, or lose altitude or speed quickly, and that's what we're going to practice here. So I'm going to show you a maneuver I call the drop and catch. And in this maneuver, we're going to drop and lose altitude quickly, and then gradually and in a controlled manner, catch the, arrest the fall, and then we can proceed to land. So we're going to start from a relatively high altitude. Here we are, we're flying around the outside of the map, and we want to come in and land. I'm going to reduce throttle, let the copter fall, and as it gets close to the ground, raise the throttle to arrest the fall relatively close to the ground. So we'll go up again. When you drop the throttle, you don't want to drop it all the way. Depending on how your copter is configured, you may lose all control entirely if you drop it all the way. I'm going to drop the throttle, let the copter fall, and raise the throttle to catch myself as I get close to the ground. Now you'll notice when I raise the throttle, I pick up speed as well. So that could be a problem. Let's drop the throttle. Don't want to stop the motors. Raise the throttle as I get close, and I pick up speed. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drop the throttle, I'm going to raise it as I get close to the ground, and I'm going to gently pitch back to lose that speed. Here we go. And that's what you want to go for. Let's do another one. We'll climb out to a relatively high altitude. And then as we come into land, we'll drop the throttle to lose altitude. As we get close to the ground, raise the throttle and pitch back to slow down. Don't drift, don't stop moving forward entirely like I just did there. Don't drift backward, just slow down. All right, so uh, that is the drop and catch. You can practice that in the context of landing. You can practice that uh, just in the context of an acrobatic maneuver where you dramatically drop into an area. But it, it gives you good practice at quickly losing altitude without losing too much altitude and smashing into the ground. So practice that. Practice your slow, slow landing approaches. And then practice dropping in rapidly to make a slow approach uh, from a high altitude. 